Prince Harry has spoken about his healing journey, while confirming he will attend the Invictus Games next month. The Duke of Sussex will travel to Dusseldorf in Germany for the international multi-sport event, which will run from September 9th to September 16th this year. In a video message, Harry, who is currently in Asia for a charity and polo tour with his best friend Nacho Figueras, said he is both excited and nervous about the Invictus Games. He said, I hope you are excited and probably a bit nervous. I'm both, but I can't wait to see all of you and have the whole community together once again. It's been too long. Harry also praised competitors for taking the next step on their healing journey and said the event also helped his own journey. Looking excited ahead of this year's event, Harry said it will be the best games ever. Addressing the athlete, the prince said, you're all on different parts of your healing journey. He then added, we all are, we always will be. Laughing, Harry added, good luck for the remaining few weeks. Have fun, look forward to it. Being nervous is a good thing. We have 21 nations this year and can't wait to have every continent represented, except Antarctica, but still working on that. Thank you for your service, for your commitment, your determination in getting to this point. We are going to have a lot of fun. And yeah, look forward to it. We're ready to host you. It's going to be the best games ever, the best games yet. Harry usually attends the Invictus Games with his wife, Meghan Markle. And, according to reports, she will have a special role this year. The former Suits star will be closing out the two-week event and will address the crowd with a very emotional closing speech with Harry. It is believed Harry will be in Dusseldorf for the whole duration of the Games, while Meghan is only expected to attend half of it. A source told the Rheinische Post, this very emotional element is to be watched personally by Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. Yesterday, Harry was seen laughing, joking and goofing around in Tokyo, where he took to the stage at ISPS Sports Values Summit and joined a panel to talk about sport, community and philanthropy. As he was welcomed onto the stage at the event, he could be seen smiling widely and enjoying every second. Later, he was seen gleefully laughing during the panel chat, which also included former New Zealand rugby player Dan Carter, as well as Royal Australian Navy veteran and Invictus Games gold medalist Steve James and Professor Wim de Villiers, the Rector and Vice-Chancellor of South Africa's Stellenbosch University. During the panel, Harry stressed the importance of teamwork, saying sport required having a dream and the need for community. He said, I have long believed that sport is a conduit for healing, not just for the mind and body, but the world. Sport requires having a dream and the need for community, whether banded together in victory or showing up with respect in loss, no one ever crosses a finish line or scores a goal without the help and belief of others. The lessons we learn on the field are often the same principles of philanthropy, that a mission, hard work, dedication and partnership can make even the impossible possible. That is what giving back requires, and we are all capable of creating or joining a team to do so.